This is a recording for FM21 Paper 42. If you haven't tried the paper, please go do so and come back again. Question 10. This is an AC question. So I have done the paper in order from question 1 to question 10. And I noticed that there's a lot of emphasis on magnets and AC. Okay, there's not much emphasis on ultrasound. You notice there's no ultrasound. So every paper, the nature is different depending on your luck. Okay, so keep that in mind when you study. That doesn't mean it's not important. It's just that it just so happened to not us. So here you have an output potential difference of an alternating power supply represented by this equation where V is the potential difference in volt and T is the time in second. Okay, determine the root mean square PD of the power supply. Wow, this is bonus. So compare with the general equation of alternating current, V is V0 sine omega T. Okay, so your V0 or your peak voltage is 320. So VRMS is peak voltage V0 divided by root 2. For proof, all recorded already. No need to know how, if you no time to know how to prove, then just memorize the equation for now. 320 divided by root 2. Okay, so for 320 divided by root 2, what you will get is 226 volt. Determine period T of the output. So if you want to find period, you will take omega because omega is 2 pi over T. Miss, we got omega. Me. Got, uh, ne? Omega is 100. 100 is 2 pi over T. Eh, no, 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 not 100, sorry. 100 pi. Ooh. 100 pi. This one, uh, the whole thing. 100 pi is omega. Okay, very nice. We can cut the pi and feed it to our guest. I mean, no, just cancel off the pi and you will get 100 over 2. No, wait, 2 over 100. What am I talking about? 2 over 100, which is 0 0.02 second. 50 hertz lah. 50 hertz. Regular, good old 50 hertz AC in all the standard British sockets of 3-pin plugs. Okay, now we're going to connect the power supply to a resistor and a diode as shown in figure 10.1. Okay. State the name of rectification produced by the diode. So this one, oh, you see, uh, this is positive, this is negative. Then current can flow. So meaning if let's say this is your AC, sine omega t, ma, so this is your AC. I'm going to draw two cycles, okay? This is your AC. So maybe this is the positive cycle. Current can flow, no problem. We are happy. Flow, come back. So this one got, got reading. Okay. Let's look at the negative cycle. Negative cycle is when you flip the direction, right? So when you flip the direction of current flow, and the current come out here, and then thinking that it will have a good life, like the green current, but eh, 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 eh. See this wall here? Diode is reverse bias. You shall not pass. Hiya, no current. So, got current, got current, got current, got current, no current. Got current, got current, got current, got current, no current. The pink cycle doesn't allow for current to flow. Sad case. So, we don't take the whole wave, we take half of the wave. So, we call this half wave rectification. More popular is full wave rectification. So please go try pass here regarding full wave rectification. Many is recorded in the playlist. Go watch the playlist. Right? Okay, next. Oh, wow. I just sketch. You asked me to sketch again. Sure. On figure 10.2, sketch the variation with time t, the potential difference vr, from t equal to 0 to t equal to 4 millisecond. Okay, so let's let's do this one first. We know the period was what was the period again? Zero point zero two second. So zero point zero two second, which is twenty millisecond. So this is one t. This is one t. Step one. I'm going to draw the original graph first. Okay, what is our v naught again? Our v naught was three twenty, right? Ah, three twenty. Large. Alternating current, bro. 
Okay, never mind. So 320. Uh, 320 is here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, this is 320. And this is 320. So I'm going to just draw a sine wave to make my life easier. Okay, so this is 20. This is one cycle. And this is half a cycle. So somewhere in the middle here, you will hit maximum. This is 320. I'm plotting out the sine curve, okay? If you need it, you should do so in the exam as well. Plot out the sine curve. 320, 0. This is one complete cycle. Repeat again. No. Don't know about you, but I find drawing sine curves very therapeutic. <laughs> so this is the unrectified, perfect, original, organic signal from the power supply but unfortunately we rectify it because most circuit cannot operate on alternating current it will get confused so it needs to operate on direct current those in your house so we only use half a wave right so whatever that is down here is gone we chop it away so sad reverse bias don't have ma okay so all this is don't have during exam you don't draw, also can. I'm just drawing this to show you what is going on. So all of these go away now. Bye-bye. No more. So what we have is actually here. So I'm drawing using pencil to show you how you should draw during the exam, okay? If can, you use a ruler. Lah. But make sure it is clear there is another line here. But don't draw... Okay, hang on. Don't draw dash lines. Because dash line indicates that there are two readings. Actually, there's only one. So one single line, thick and confident. Okay, you now use a pencil, so something like this. If you don't draw this, it's okay. So after that, you can rub this off, no, no problem. Miss, can I draw like that? Ah? Don't have, got, don't have, got. This one is also okay. Miss, can I be special and draw cosine? I don't know, man. They give you a sign. Don't lie like that. Okay, that one I don't know. I understand, but don't be special. Exam, standardized exam is not the time to be special. All right, so three, three marks. Okay, okay, okay. I think uh, one mark is for the correct period. One mark is for the correct uh, V0 or peak voltage. One mark is half of the wave is gone. Here, here, and here. And also the shape, lah, okay? The shape must look reasonably sinusoidal, okay? If you draw like that, I give you zero. What is this? Bunny ears? Nyan cat? Already look a bit like Nyan cat. <laughs> okay. Next, draw a symbol for a component that may be connected to produce smoothing. So when we want to smooth our VR, you know, we need to connect a capacitor. Capacitor C. So we will put the capacitor here. Ding, 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 ding. Parallel. How does the capacitor help? When current flow, when the green current flow, the capacitor will also store some energy. And then when there's no current flow, the capacitor will look upon the resistor and say, hey, you don't have current. Now come like I give you some. So then thanks to the presence of the capacitor okay what will happen is that your output will now look like this the capacitor will help give you some energy will help give you some energy so this part here is smoothing for more explanation watch the video in the playlist you got one weekend <laughs> all right you don't need to draw smoothing okay so please make sure you do some pass here regarding smoothing la, of capacitor if you need it. But this is a pretty easy AC question. If it comes out like this, 8 marks, very nice. Good bonus and a good relief after a quite challenging question. 9.